From Halifax, Nova Scotia, the capital and largest municipality in the province, nearly half a million people call this metropolitan area home, including many Wanderer supporters who are hoping to see their home side continue to do work on this Labor Day Monday. Mo Omar captains the side today for the Halifax Wanderers as Andre Rampersad has been called up once again to Trinidad and Tobago. Mo starts in midfield with Lorenzo Caligari and Callum Watson. Daniil Henry, the Canadian international, will start for the first time in the CPL. No Jonathan Grant, still out with a head injury. Brian Wright is ill. Michael Petrasso is unavailable. Bolissimo, Gamaris, Wojciechowski, and Afwork all knows so, Martin Nash has a limited bench to offer today. You have to pick your moment when you play the ball across the center back for him to go. If you're just playing all the time, then that one time where you really need him to be there, he won't make that run. So, you just need to be on there. The keys and keys. This for Mo Omar. Callum Watson has a step to the middle. Callum Watson fouled. Oh, but can't lift the ball off the grass. It's an incredible bit of vision. Filion under pressure from Ricci. It's a good ball. Great ball. Clever play from Fernandez. Keeps on running and has the ball returned. Options in the box. Fernandez across. Max Ferrari, how about that? Dueling skill and power. It's in that way, Bob and Nimick. Buy in the box. from the corner. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I had to look up the rules that day with Atletico Ottawa. Barucci in the open, Jordan Barucci! Before stoppage time. Here's Bayer taking on Fernandez. Bayer fast on his feet. And into Grant. Heads up in the front row. JGL hearing it from the players they used to chant his name. Now they boo it. Babuli. Better angle looking towards Thompson. Just missing. And I mean just missing that far post. More on Mo Omar's week. I want to get to the ticket of the week in a moment. Because Bert Morelli's in again. Sells it down. Di Rosario bravely to deny the Brazilian. A little bit slow to shoot. Otherwise, he might have had his angle. This is a bad man. Mordokudis over the top. And back to the reach. He's going to get there. They completely fall asleep on York's most informed striker. And he silences the crowd a little bit. Who are in some complete and utter disbelief. They were just about to cruise their way into halftime. But Austin Ricci now has goals in back-to-back -back games as his header solves. Yeah, York United FC goal scored in the 45th minute. But uh, he's a guy, if you, if you get him going, he... Most players, most attacking players, you get them going, and they're off the game a bit, but Morelli finds a way to be motivated. Great touch by Baia there. Brilliant. Baia's into the box. Babuli's on mark to touch to settle it down. Babuli can't finish it off. Timoteo takes no chances, concedes the corner. It is Mo Babuli's service. Finds Thompson on the post and in. Roger Thompson for York United. For the second match in a row. These nine shots. 
stripes score two unanswered to take the lead. And for a center back not known for his goal scoring, the captain for York United has one of the most important goals of the season thus far. Jostling for position. Timoteo towards the back post. Now it goes up. First on it by York United player. Daniels, Omar, an important touch back. Here's Farron. Sidewinder. Timoteo's going to be looking for better service this time. Farron slyly moves back and receives the pass from Caligari. Timoteo with a better angle. First side pass. Oh! That could have been a moment. This could be it. Look what it means to Martin Nash and York United. As they go away from home, one of the toughest road trips in the Canadian Premier League, and are going to take the full complement of points. Your